Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here, and I am back today with yet another care package. So I'm um, just continuing to feel the love from this uh, YouTube cardboard community and have one here, uh, that pretty, pretty sizable uh, bubble mailer that came in uh, from my buddy Diego. And he's probably better known as Sports Cards Detour, as you can see here on the label and uh, sent Diego some hockey cards recently. Um, he's gotten into hockey and goalie card collecting specifically, and actually is one of a couple of collectors that I'm friendly with that is starting up a Franken set of goaltender cards. And so I shipped off a bunch of goalie cards to Diego uh, a short while back, as well as I think a Ryan Sandberg uh, relic, bat relic and some other stuff for his uh, PC. And uh, certainly we're not obligated to send anything to me in return, Diego. I just wanted to, to hook you up with those, but I uh, absolutely appreciate the fact that you did. And uh, very, 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 very grateful to be the recipient of whatever awaits uh, me in this package here. So uh, great job. Let me just start by saying of packaging this up by Diego. So the cards are completely encased in cardboard. Uh, we've got blue painter's tape in use. Um, so we've got proper tape mechanism, and these arrived in fantastic condition. So there's the little box. And then inside of here, we've got what looks like uh, some top-loaded cards, and then some sleeved cards as well. And uh, So Diego's great packaging job here has uh, definitely added a couple minutes to this video. I probably should have opened this up beforehand, but... Uh, all right, awesome. So uh, let's dive in, and it looks like we got some some sweet hockey here. Uh, these are broken up in the team set bags. So let's just take a peek at the first one. All right, so uh, here's an awesome one right out of right out of the gate. Opeachy net magnets. Uh, I'm sorry, Opeachy platinum net magnets. Ovechkin. Um, Diego probably knows from uh, watching videos here in the past that I'm a big Ovechkin fan and, and do collect his cardboard and uh, love shiny cards as well. And this is obviously a, a meeting of those two collecting passions for me and 100% did not have this card. In fact, I've never even heard of this insert set, Net Magnets, so I'm guessing this is a relatively new one. Uh, this is from the no, 2018 Opeachy Platinum release. So. Super cool start to this one. Thank you so much, Diego. I do have uh, most of my Ovechkin singles going into a Hockey Z folio, and this one will be joining them there as soon as this video is done. Uh, awesome. Check this out. So I'll have to put this one in a follow-up video, but we've got a Tim Tufel buyback, Rediscover Tops. This is the blue foil, 87, and uh, pretty neat. Always looking for more of those. So this one is uh, card number 158. So I will set this to the side, and in a future episode, we'll look at my buyback Franken set and see if that one makes the cut. Uh, here's a cool Red Sox item. This is a Ted Williams. It's from the Ted Williams set in 1993. It almost looks like these are pogs, maybe, uh, or discs of some sort that you punch out. Definitely don't have that. Very obscure Red Sox, I guess, would be considered an insert. That's pretty cool. Here's a Mookie Betts. Um, don't recognize this design offhand. It's a sticker. So this is the, oh, this is Top Stickers 2020. Mookie Betts. Awesome. I've got a pretty sizable Betts collection. Really enjoyed his time with Boston. Here's a cool one. Um, always looking for new Xander Bogarts cards. And uh, you couldn't have known this, Diego, but this 2019 Horizontal Bogarts in particular I am trying to accumulate as many different versions of this card as I can. So from, you know, base tops or opening day, chrome. Uh, this one here is the holiday edition, obviously, as you can tell by the design and all the many parallels that come in all those sets. And I don't believe I had the base holiday edition that we see here. So that one's an absolute win. Here's a cool one from uh, Bowman. This is Dustin Pedroia, and this is from the World Baseball Classic. Really cool. Um, love those international jersey cards from that World Baseball Classic tournament. Uh, here's a turkey red Pedroia. 
These are always neat. Um, bought a lot of 2007 Turkey Red when I first returned to the hobby. And uh, that actually, that set had sort of this exact same border design. And so that one kind of has a uh, soft spot in my collecting heart. Uh, here's a cool Bowman Heritage Big Poppy. And this is, um, I think maybe the 2007, but it's basically a tribute to the 52 Bowman release, which is one of my favorite baseball sets of all time on the vintage side of the house. And that is an awesome big poppy. Very, very cool. There's a Jason Bay who was uh, pretty successful in his, in his relatively short stint with Boston. This one's out of a uh, sweet spot from Upper Deck, which was like a mid to high range product. Nice. I've actually been looking at this exact Xander card on ComC. Uh, this is brand new from the 35th anniversary insert set in the 2021 Topps flagship release. And 100% uh, did not have this one. Uh, and as I said, I've actually been eyeing it on ComC recently. So thank you, Diego. You saved me uh, having to pick that up on there and wait, you know, six plus months for it to be uh, delivered to my door. So Really appreciate the hookup on that. So that one's going absolutely right into the Bogart C folio. And I think I've mentioned this on the channel, but I am sort of now finally getting around to cataloging and uh, archiving all of my Xander cards. So I know exactly how many unique cards I have. And that one will definitely increase my count by one. Uh, here's a JD Martinez out of last year's Donruss set. He's having another very stellar season with Boston. Awesome. New Rafi Devers card. So you're really uh, firing on all cylinders here, Diego, between uh, shiny hockey and a lot of my absolute favorite Red Sox players here. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is. It's a legacy card. Uh, it looks to be Panini, I'm guessing, based on the photo that was chosen. Uh, and this is out of Chronicles Baseball from last year. So awesome. And then this one is still in the wrapper. A Twizzlers Nomar Garcia Parra. How cool is that? Uh, I love this kind of oddball food product stuff. Um, this is made by Upper Deck. They obviously did not have a license, uh, or Twizzlers didn't, to you know show MLB logos. Um, so it does have a little bit of that Panini type of feel to it. But I, I love the obscurity here and the great Twizzlers baseball logo in the upper right corner. Awesome uh, obscure addition to my Nomar collection. And I'll tell you about some... Um, you know, with the generosity displayed here, I've, I've received, I've got like three more of these uh, team set bags full of cards. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do here as we approach the eight minute mark is I'm going to pick one more and we'll go through this and then we'll save the other two team set bags for a part two. Um, D Diego, quite honestly, just sent so much stuff here that uh, I'm going to cut these off just to keep the length reasonable of these videos and we'll make this a two parter. Uh, here's a Tops 206 of Noma. Awesome. And uh, he, I mean, they just made so many cards of this guy because he was in the prime of his career when there were just like a hundred different companies. It seemed like making, you know, 30 different sets each. And because he was a successful player, he was in every insert set. It seemed like uh, for a good decade or so there. Um, so it seems like no matter how many Garcia Parra cards I accumulate, I, I am still getting cards that I've never seen before. And I'm confident I've got hundreds of them. At this point, um, but I do not have this one, so pretty cool. How about the photo on this Pedro? Um, man, Diego, you're you are right on target here. I've I've been actually picking up some Pedro cards lately, um, just because I think he's maybe a little bit underappreciated, um, kind of like Craig Maddox is as far as his level of dominance uh, versus how popular he is in the hobby. And uh, this one is just amazing. Uh, this is obviously from the uh, World Series Championship in 2004, and uh, Pedro is using the World Series trophy as a hat. Uh, he was quite a character, and uh, that photograph really just sums him up kind of perfectly. Oh, check this out. Um, this one is, uh, you know, probably the most nostalgic card in this entire package will be this one, because um, these sticker inserts were included in the 8990 Tops and Opeachy release, which were the first hockey cards I ever collected as a kid. And I still have a lot of these. Uh, but back in the day, I played youth hockey. And when, whenever I would score a goal in youth hockey, I would take one of the pucks uh, off one of these stickers and stick it on the back of my hockey helmet. And uh, my brothers and I both did that. So a lot of good uh, memories tied up in, in youth hockey and in this set in particular. And of course, getting the Whaler sticker uh, on top of all that. This is just an absolute home run. 
Um, you're really just showing a lot of uh, care in, in assembling this package, Diego. I, I, I really, really appreciate it. Here's another Whalers card. This is Sylvain Turgeon, a goal leader for the Whalers. They had these team leader cards in just about every Opeachy set throughout the 80s. And a uh, really cool one here. This is from the 84-85 Opeachy set, which is one of the more uh, popular hockey designs of all time. Oh, man, we've even got one on the basketball front. Um, I have actually talked about Paul Pierce prism cards. Um, this is some alliteration there. Uh, numerous times on the channel. I do have a Z folio that I'm trying to fill with basketball cards. I just don't have a lot of basketball in my collection, uh, but I have grown to appreciate them a little bit more. And I've been grabbing some Paul Pierce Prism parallels <laughs> on Com C just because they're cheap and this guy was so good in his time with Boston. And I have a lot of the multicolor parallels and things like that, but I did not have this green. And I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than a green Celtics parallel. And, you know, in typical Panini fashion, look at the etching through that uniform. The wrinkles in the uniform, the ball itself. I mean, just these cards are absolutely fantastic. And that's going into that basketball Z folio. The second I hit the stop button here, ditto for this one. This is a dominance insert out of Prism. And then check this out. Uh, Diego, I think, must have maybe heard me reference uh, him on previous videos, but... Awesome Leon Dry Cycle here, and I think if I'm not mistaken, this is from the, yeah. So these are from the extended series of Upper Deck, which is sort of like their update set. Um, I never saw any of this on the shelves, and I, I didn't get to rip any myself. And uh, really happy to add Dry Cycle to the collection. This guy is uh, a top ten player in the modern day NHL who does not get a lot of love, uh, maybe just because his name is difficult to pronounce, and he's overshadowed by Connor McDavid in Edmonton. I'm not sure, but uh, fantastic. And then we've got a checklist here that features McDavid and Dreisaitl. And then to round out the trio, the McDavid card as well. Um, man, you really, really did too much here, uh, Diego. And then final card for today. Look at this. Dominators. Rafi Devers out of Donruss. Just awesome. This looks like it's from the 2020 release, and that red color scheme is just really driving with the Red Sox. And it looks like this card is also numbered out of 149. What a stunning addition to my shiny collection and my Raffi Devers PC. Um, I, again, I, I just, uh, I sort of don't know what to say. Uh, I'm glad you like the cards I sent you, Diego, but this is definitely way too much. You've just hit absolute home runs here in terms of uh, the types of cards that I that I cherish and will happily welcome into my collection. And I, I really appreciate your hobby friendship, your support of the channel. Um, and, you know, Diego is just one of those good guys in the hobby. So if you don't know uh, his channel, you're not familiar with his content, he's a true collector in the truest sense of the word. And I don't mean that to uh, disparage anyone that collects differently uh, than Diego. I, I think there's... Uh, room in this hobby for everyone, and there's a lid for every pot, so to speak. Uh, but Diego strikes me as someone who's very similar to me in that he can and does appreciate just about any card. Um, he, he really uh, seems to just have a passion for the hobby, and I enjoy that. Uh, it comes through in his videos and uh, have, have really enjoyed watching his content uh, over these last few months since getting on YouTube. So uh, again, huge thanks to Diego. Uh, a little bit of a teaser here. We've got a a part two coming down the line with these two team set bags. So uh, as great as all this was, amazingly enough, that's only about half of what uh, Diego was kind enough to send my way here. So check back soon. Uh, we'll have part two up in the near future uh, and uh, go give Diego a look. And uh, I'll be back at some point here with some more sports card content. Take care.